last drive before I got, got into my home. I slowly walked towards the door. I feel exhausted and tired after uh, joining church conference and teaching Bible in Sunday school. I began to sleep. At the next day, I wake up early. It's 5.30 in the morning. I came towards the refrigerator to grab some eggs and went inside inside up. I prayed to God. After eating, I began to rest for a while. I still the couch and I grabbed the remote and I opened the television. The news, the news was talking about some political stuff. Suddenly, the chains is stopping. It starts to talk about an online TikTok game where the kids try to do some black magic ritual. There's a lot of kids getting possessed by this game, said the reporter. My phone rang. It's my friend. He texted me because a parent complained about their kid being hunted after playing a stupid TikTok game. I texted back saying I'll be there. I grabbed the Bible and my gun. I began to hurry up to call a taxi. I got inside and entered. <laughs> drive fast. Then I was able, then I came to the destination. As I came to the building, I moved to the right. There's a house not far from it. I knocked at I was about to knock at the door, but the door suddenly opens right by its own. I walk inside and a toy ball ran right in front of me. I ignore it. My bracelet becomes hot. The evil entity is me. I load my handgun. I walk up to the stair. The, bright, the bracelet is getting hotter. I see the parent with the kid talking. The kid suddenly shook its parent. I can see the spirit. Its skin is pale. Its mouth is like have been taken by his skin. The spirit, the spirit tried to look intimidating, but I grabbed my handgun. It suddenly entered the wall. The kid fell to the ground. I entered the next room. It come near me, try to suck my life essence. I shot its feet to make it fall. I then step to its arm and bring it down to the floor and shove my gun to its head. Who are you? I ask. It gives me vision and terrible future. I then sh shoot it down. It turned to dust. I then walk slowly and exit the room and came back to the other room where the kid and her parents are. I sat down at the chair. How are you? I asked. I'm okay. Thank you, the kid said. Be careful of the games like that, okay? I said. Thank you very much, the mother said. They paid me. I looked back at 